Yo, 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 what's happening? It's Jay Hamilton back again. And what I want to talk about in this video is key groups and uh, the warp feature inside of MPC 2.0. I showed in a previous video that I uploaded about two weeks ago about how to use warp mode for like samples, you know, loops or long phrases that you chop up or you can just loop it and, and use warp feature for that. But with this one, I want to demonstrate how you can use it in key groups. So I want to show you with a one shot sample how you can do it in key groups. So sometimes if you have sample libraries, it could be something that you sampled that the sample may not have been long enough for your liking. You know, sometimes you may have a sample that's just too short, but you want to use it, but you you feel that it should be extended or you might want to go back and resample it if it's possible but say if you're in a situation you can't well you can use the warp feature to actually extend it stretch the sample out and you can still use it in key groups and it should work pretty perfectly i had this one sample here i drug over i can demonstrate how it works here so basically what i did was i loaded up uh in fact, I could do it on another track. Let's try another track. Uh, let's go to unused track. Let's select uh, key group here, uh, wrong one. This is the key, key group right here. So basically what I want to do here is oh, make a new program. All right, so I got a new key group program. So what I want to do is go into the samples here, see what we're working with. <laughs> all right i'm just gonna set it up in an octave here maybe put it there okay so now we have it set up in the key group that sample so let's play it So you notice that you go up the keys, it gets shorter and shorter because it's all getting pitched. So everything here is just being pitched. So basically what you want to do is you want to be able to go on here. Say you don't want that to happen. You know, you go back. So... What you could try here is the warp feature. And right, this is synced to the BPM right here. Sync, really, this is just a one shot sample. So you really don't need it to be synced to BPM. All you really want to do is stretch it. So let's deselect this. And you see this right here, it's called stretch. Uh, by default, it's set to 100. You can see how it sounds once you engage the warp mode on here. And if you want to see how I got to it, this is the wave here. If you're in grid mode, you just go over to wave and you can go access the wave this way and you can use the warp feature. So now what I want to do is press a key. So it's a little longer than before. All right. And what you can do is say you wanted to stretch a little bit more. I want to check something. Just want to make sure that my preferences are set. Yeah, it's still on Elastic Pro. But you see it's stretching that one note. See how far it could go. Let's stretch it some more. So you see what's happening here. You take warp off. Yeah, it's this one is short and it gets shorter the higher you go up. But once you engage warp, And if 
you go down with the stretch, say, just take it down lower, it's going to be shorter. So there you have it. 